Alrighty, somebody asked for a inside video of the R80. There's the R80 right there. Pretty nice, pretty clean. Uh, it's pretty cool to your receiver. Light shade, I've just got some tape holding light shade because it's broke. Um, da -da -da -da. Okay, so you have your supply wire coming in back there. Supply wire coming in back here. It comes in here, these wires right here, runs to your mag relay, runs to your thermal light delay, and also runs to your motor. Uh, the mag relay runs to the wall button. Um, so, uh, your motor comes off, goes to a V belt. It's a V belt drive. So you have to use turn. Uh, it comes over here, goes to a chain drive, and then it jumps off of that over here onto your main chain drive, and then also onto your limits. So, uh, you got your up limit here. I did modify that as you can see. I uh, cut a big wham in it. And then you've got your uh, close limit. And then, yeah. So, I have a remote. Hey! Alright, so it's pretty simple here. It comes off motor onto a V belt. Uh, it comes off your V belt here on this spindle right here. Onto your chain. It goes onto a chain. Onto your main drive chain. And onto your limits. Um, right there, your little plastic limit nuts. Uh, your up limit. And then this is your down limit. Um, all communicates here and shuts off the motor. So. Uh, your thermal light delay here is your light bulbs, your two light bulbs, I've got LEDs in there right now, and so on and so forth. Um, the force on this does not work, um, I figure where the force comes out, okay. So that's your clutch, sort of a clutch adjustment here, it's a plate, and whenever this chain hits that plate, then it shuts off the motor, although it is not wired up and it doesn't even work, so. Um, yeah, and you can see here this big plate here runs to this, and that's your shutoff switch. So, um, yeah, so, uh, there's your transformer right there, up in there, and yeah, so. Uh, okay. Alrighty, this is the R80Z here, so you've got your motor coming off. Your motor is a V-belt drive. Goes on to this shaft right here, goes on to a chain, that goes on to a chain, on your main drive chain, and your limit assembly comes off this shaft right here, there's your up limit, there's your down limit, and then, yeah, that all communicates, uh, here's your force, force adjustment, uh, you turn that little wing nut, and it'll adjust this bracket here, and you can see the wires coming from that, onto this kill switch, um, if I'm correct, um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a run. Here's your kill switch back here. And uh, yeah, so you'll see the lights kick on. Okay, maybe not. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and push this. And relay's clicking. All right, you can see the limits going there. I have kicked on, you can see the chains moving, the belt moving, the motor moving, all that. Go ahead and get you some action on this thing. Alright, there you have it. Lift this up here, there you go. That is the overhead door R80Z uh, converted from 7 foot rail to 10 foot rail. Uh, thank you all for watching. As always, I encourage you to praise the Lord. And uh, you all subscribe, comment, uh, drop a like, drop a comment, all that good stuff. Uh, subscribing really helps out the channel. Uh, go check out some of my other channels as well. And uh, yeah, there you go. On to tearing this thing down. So. Uh, that is it for this thing, and uh, it'll get put back on the rack. It'll get com probably com converted back to a 
uh, seven foot unless I get it to where it actually works a whole lot better than it does. So, uh, but anyways, drop a like, drop a comment, and we'll catch you on the next. Alrighty, there you have it. Uh, it's all down and done. Uh, like I said, the R80 is done for the year. Uh, it's sitting down there on the floor right now. I've still got some wiring to do over here for my push button. I still got some wiring to take off. Get my button right there. Pretty nice. I do like those. So, I I've got a bunch of those for free. And I use them for myself. So, um, so just a little bit of a recap here. Uh, as you can see here, this is a 12 by 10 Wayne Dalton. Uh, commercial door um, so basically what we had to do to this R80 was first off um, I had to fix the mag relay the mag relay was doing some weird stuff I had to actually move it um, not move it but adjust it to make it where gravity would actually make it operate a little better so uh, you can see we had to add on this piece of track um, and then we had to add on chain which and you can tell a difference here chain that's the new that's the chain i got that off of the um wayne dalton opener that i have uh it's chamberlain chain come came off the t-rail and then you have that there's kind of a difference so that's the overhead door chain this is the liftmaster chain yeah so um so we had to add on some chain to this um you can see here i Drilled holes in this, use drill press, drilled holes in the track, and then went ahead and put some bolts in here and beefed up, put some angle iron, both ends, and then I kind of thought, well, I need um, some uh, something to suspend the chain up on top, so I went ahead and I put these pieces of angle iron here, bolted them, bolted them, and put a bolt across. And it took me a while, but I had to find some bolts that I could use for that. So it took me quite a while to find some bolts because, yeah, I don't know if I ended up buying bolts or not. I forget. Anyways, then also we had to straighten out this wooden traveler here. Uh, well, it's not all wooden, but you can see here this is a metal traveler with wooden slides inside. This was all bent from lifting a big heavy wood door that it was probably on. Um, so we had to, I had to stick that in a vise and try to straighten it out. It runs quite nicely. Um, uh, the motor's a little worn out, I think, um, which plus two, um, you saw in the video, um, my last video of this, I had to kind of pull down the operator, not the operator, pull down the door uh, because the uh, motor was starting to get tired. So, and I think it's because, and we'll open this up here. Thank you. All right, so yeah, that's our bells here at school. Um, so basically, you know, it goes up fine, but coming coming right through here, it's it's kind of harder to pull down on. And I think something might be scrubbing too, rubbing too. I don't, I don't know. I think maybe that drum is, I don't know, it's got something going on with it. I can't tell. I ain't going to fool with it right now. So, anyways, so, I just got to take the bolt off of this lock, undo that, and then should all be good. And then I got my extension cord running through the, through the ceiling down the wall. I got to undo that real quick, and then should all be good. Uh, yeah, so this will be coming home. You'll see this again, of course, on the YouTube channel. Um, you will see it again. Um, don't know really when. Uh, I'll take it apart and put it back to the way it's supposed to be. So, and I will still have that deal where I have one of these things connecting the two tracks together. So, anyways, you can see I, gre I greased the heck out of this, trying to get it to run smoothly and try to get it to have less trouble going down so um yeah, it's all greasy so but uh but anyways then also you can see here i used 
the cable pulley for the chain. Uh, you can tell me in the comments if you don't have to, but is this a good idea? Because <laughs> it worked, and it's been working, because uh, Overhead Door actually made their pulleys big enough to do this, but is this a good idea? <laughs> I doubt it, because it's not made to do this, but it's pretty darn heavy duty stuff, and I ain't gonna complain. I was like, well, if it breaks, so be it. Ain't like I paid 50 bucks for it. I dug it out of a dumpster, so. I dug it out of the scrap pile, so. And it runs pretty good. Um, I just had it running here, as you saw, with the, um, the inside shot of it, so. Um, yeah, so. Anyways, tell me what you think. Do you want me to do another one of these? Because um, I'm thinking about, I'm seeing... I'm seeing one of these on uh, Facebook, so I might. I thought about possibly getting another one, and it might possibly run better than, excuse me, run better than this. If not, I can take parts off of that one to put on this one, and possibly install it somewhere else. I thought about possibly doing it on a bigger door, but but anyways, so there you have it. It's all taken down, we'll go ahead and we'll open it back up here. And there we have it. Like I said before, like, subscribe, comment. Otherwise, I encourage you to praise the Lord, and we'll see y'all next time. So, here's how I did my keypad I just, this is a steel steel post and put a 2x4 like Chamberlain clicker keypad and there you have it